You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. The Gentleman Poet, Naka Contributor, back for another show and more bone chilling truth. And remember, the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. Oh, if you can't load up and come to the Ozarks, then come. Take the journey with me. We have Clara Mack, foot long and white pea shaped blooms. They perfume the air with a scent akin to a costly French fragrance. The pups and I were up early this May morning, 3 a.m. After some healthy food for the pups, coffee and oats for me, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks and watched the sun come up. Sights and sounds that bring me back to my memories of the farm. The sounds of cowbells. I could identify every cow and her location by listening to the bells. I remember the deep throaty bell in the tower of an early rural school that called students in from recess. And the sounds of milking the cows by hand I could play tunes on the interior walls of my milk bucket with the streams of milk. I'd strip out the cow and squirt a stream of milk out to my cat, sitting patiently in the aisle behind my cow. The cat never lost a drop. His tongue was experienced at lapping the milk in midair. Oh, I want to remember those days. The experience of milking instilled in my life the joys honest work provides. Mm. Finding joy, being humble, showing kindness, this is the beginning of a new day. You have been given this day to use as you will. You can waste it or use it for good. What you do today is important because you are exchanging a day of your life for it. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. In its place is something that you have left behind. Let it be something good. Sitting silently beside a friend who is hurting may be the best gift we can give. Our habits and our character. Remember, friends, watch your thoughts, for they become words. As we grow older, we find that time brings a deeper understanding that clears up our misconceptions. It shows us the error of our hates, dispels our worries and fears. Most of our troubles are not so serious when we come to examine the realities of them unless we expect too much. Expecting too much reminds me of the man who was complaining that the railroad would not pay him for his mule, which it had killed but the man said, 
This is so unfair. The railroad won't even give me back my rope. What rope? He was asked. Why, sir, answered he, the rope that I tied the mule to the track with. <laughs> oh, gladness begins with the first person with you, but it may spread far, like the ripples when you toss a stone across the water. This world is full of perplexed and lonely people, whom even a smile or a kind look will help. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, you cannot do a kindness too soon, for you will never know how soon it will be too late. Each one of us is a one-of-a-kind individual, and we all have gifts that we can share with family, friends, peers, and even total strangers when we give love, knowledge, compassion, or kindness to others. We are giving a piece of ourselves. It is the act of doing it sincerely, unconditionally, and consistently that shapes our character. Our character then shapes us and makes us the person we eventually become. One of the keys to motivating yourself is understanding your emotions. Our emotions, to a large extent, drive our behavior. Harnessing your emotional energy is the key to achieving a desired result. Have you discovered yours? Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. It's feeding time for Bubba and Cora May. As I speak, so you can catch me again come next week. <laughs> As always, you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm. <laughs>